Hey, it's Alex and welcome to Vegan with a Passport. I'm super excited because the last time I showed you vegan restaurants in Munich, Germany and also even a vegan cat cafe and for this episode I'm going to be showing you even more fully vegan restaurants in Munich, Germany. So let's go. First, let's go check out an all vegan Mediterranean deli style restaurant. The name of the restaurant is called Herbils and here you can find a variety of dishes such as vegan donor, pides, lakmazun, falafel, there are even desserts such as cake and baklava and there also was a salad bar. And if you've ever been to Germany, there's a good chance depending on the city that you're in that you have seen a ton of donor booths just all around the city and so I really needed to try the vegan donor. The restaurant makes their donor out of seitan and I decided to get the sandwich which basically was the donor, vegetables, and tzatziki sauce stuffed inside the pita bread. When I tried the donor by itself, it was just okay, however when I had it together with all of the other ingredients with the sandwich, it was delicious and I definitely think that sauce had a lot to do with it. I also did get some baklava to go, which was good. Now, let's go explore an all-vegan Japanese, and yes, I did just say an all-vegan Japanese restaurant called Kansha. You can order a variety of dishes from sushi, dumplings, soups, curries, and noodles. For starters, I really love the ambience of the inside of the restaurant, in particular the lighting. I decided to go with the katsu curry which came with fried eggplant, bell peppers, rice and I also added vegan chicken. The curry was bursting with flavor. I really loved the fried eggplant and the curry had a katsu flavor to it. Near the Marion Platz, you can find a farmer's market which also happens to have an all-vegan hot dog shop. The name of the shop is called Organic Garden and here you can basically build your own hot dog. There are two wieners to choose from and also vegan chicken. You can also choose between a variety of buns, toppings, and sauces. I decided to go with the longer frank and overall I really enjoyed my hot dog, it had a meaty taste to it and I also really enjoyed the toppings. I wish my bun was a little softer but besides that, everything else was good. Now. Let's go explore an all-vegan Vietnamese restaurant called Soy. As usual, at least with every Vietnamese restaurant I visited on this channel, there tends to be a large, overwhelming menu. I started off with a rose petal tea and although it was gorgeous to look at, unfortunately I wasn't a fan of the taste. It was very bitter and definitely needed more agave. Also, this was my very first time seeing a mung bean crepe as a menu option and so I had to order. The crepe was topped with fried tofu coated in a sweet sauce and also leafy greens. The crepe alone had a mild flavor, it was just okay, however with the tofu it definitely was more flavorful. I also was not a fan of the perilla but this has nothing to do with the restaurant, I just am not a fan of the lettuce. And then I ended the lunch with a red tofu curry which also came with broccoli, zucchini, red bell peppers along with other vegetables. And as usual, I found the red curry to be delicious.
Now, let's go check out another fully vegan Asian restaurant in Munich, Germany called Vegan Shea. The restaurant served a large variety of sushi and Vietnamese dishes. I started off with a vegan salmon sushi and it was flavorful and although the wasabi and ginger did add extra flavor, it wasn't really necessary because the sushi alone was delicious. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I can't seem to stay away from curry so I decided to go with a red duck curry. Although taste wise it was absolutely delicious, if you've seen my previous Berlin video and where I tried vegan duck, so it's not specific to this restaurant, but I just find the texture of vegan duck to be odd to me. To be more specific, it's very chewy and rubbery. The last restaurant we are going to visit in Munich for now is called Matt's Pet. Here, you can find a variety of vegan comfort foods such as schnitzel, pastas, and burgers. I decided to order the original schnitzel and unfortunately, I was not a fan of it. I tried drowning it in ketchup and lemon juice, but nothing was helping. I personally found the schnitzel to be very bland. However, my opinion should not stop you from trying this restaurant if you choose to do so. Also, the restaurant has more than just schnitzel, so the next time I'm in Munich and happen to be near the restaurant, maybe I'll give them another chance at a different dish. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to stick around, because for the next episode, we're going to be exploring the vegan scene in Madrid, Spain. Until next time, bye!